The Humane Society of Charlotte helped rescue 38 dogs from a hoarding, a hoarding home in Roxborough this week. The dogs were found after their owner, registered Australian Shepherd breeder, was found dead on the property. Yeah, the Humane Society here in Charlotte now has 16 dogs. They are nursing them back to health and will hopefully be able to get them out and adopted. We want to warn you, some of these pictures are really hard to look at. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez has the story. Big yawn first. You gotta get ready. Rudolph the pink nosed puppy, just 13 days old. Seen a lot in his little life, though. Yeah. More than most of us would want to see. The sad thing about Rudy is that he came from a case of hoarding. So all the. Oh, no. This is the hoarder's house in the northern part of North Carolina. Pictures definitely don't do it justice. Where Rudy and 37 other purebred Australian shepherds were living in filth. Zach Borbum. Take a breath. One of the ones who went in to rescue the dogs. The vast amount of things that we were walking through, walking over, um, maneuvering through. Sifting through the squalor to find which dogs were able to be saved and for which ones it was too late. The home, once the site of a reputable registered breeder, but conditions likely deteriorated a long time ago. Rescuers found skeletal remains on the site. So while there might have been good intent, at some point it got out of hand um, and she could not control the number of animals that she had on her property and how many just continued to breed and breed and breed. 16 of the dogs arriving at the Humane Society in Charlotte. Some still a little shell-shocked. The signs of their former situation still covering their bodies. Rudy, the littlest survivor. He's a big, chunky, needy little guy who has just stolen all of our hearts. <laughs> the Humane Society hoping, after he managed to survive a hoarding home, that Rudy and his friends will get a new home for the holidays. The most happy that I will be during this is when we get an adoption picture once they've been adopted and they're sleeping in a bed inside, not covered in filth. The Humane Society, it's doing its best right now with all these dogs that have come in, but there are real expenses associated with this, medical costs, feeding costs, so they're asking for your help. If you want more information on how to donate, we'll have a link on our website, WCNC.com. I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.